What's up guys? I want to give you a little bit of an update on where I'm headed. I finally made the decision, which just to give you some background, this last Friday was like one of the most ridiculous days of my life, bar none. I had stayed up pretty late Thursday night filming my Okonomiyaki video and editing that and I'll put the link in the upper, you know, one of these directions if you want to see what my favorite food is and how to make it. Not the important part. I woke up on the next day and managed to corrupt a bunch of my video files and basically just like what I thought, wipe away like five hours of editing. It sucked so hard. Right after that, I had a call with my boss and I was like, hey man, uh, reached my decision. Actually, the end of the month is gonna be my last day. <laughs> he says, oh, well, okay. Uh, also, congratulations, you got promoted. Effective on Monday. And I'm just like, oh, shit. Okay, so <laughs> I, I've been working for this promotion for a really long time and I was really stoked to finally get this across the finish line, to get my promotion, get a little bit of a raise. It was really cool. I still knew that that wasn't gonna be the right thing for me. And so I was able to just say, hey, you know, like my priorities are set, travel is what's calling me. And I felt really, really, really good about that. Like all these fish hooks were getting put in my mouth, like pulling me down the career path, right? Sucking me into staying. And I just knew that that's not what I wanted. That was on Friday and I was hanging out with my family on Sunday. We went out to dinner, we were all just kind of getting together. Um, and I got home from dinner that night. I remembered a place that I've thought about seeing more or less my entire life. Now, if I, if I had to pick one author that's like been with me for the majority of my life, uh, his name's John Green. Most of you guys have probably read at least one of his books, especially if you're my age, like Looking for Alaska, The Fault in Our Stars, Turtles All the Way Down. Uh, I'm, right now I'm reading his new book, The Anthrop Anthropocene Reviewed. It's, it's awesome, highly recommend. And for those of you who are, who are familiar with The Fault in Our Stars, it's, it's the most heart-wrenching book ever. Maybe besides Where the Red Fern Grows, which I will never read again because what the f In The Fault in Our Stars, the main character and her boyfriend go to Amsterdam. And I remember reading that book in high school and going through the scenes that they experienced in the city and the feeling that, of Amsterdam that gets communicated in that book. And the more I thought about it, the more I was like, man, that's it. That's where we're going. Got home from dinner, with, hanging out with my family, immediately logged in to my reward system for credit card points and stuff. I'm like, let's make this happen. So I booked a flight to Chicago to go see all my old high school friends. That's where I more or less kind of grew up. I grew up everywhere. We'll talk about that some other time. Beginning of September, heading to Chicago. I'm there for four days. And then I'm heading to Amsterdam. And then I don't know where from there. <laughs> and like, COVID's probably gonna make that interesting. You know, of course it is. And I also know this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I have i don't know if I've ever been so confident in my life that this is what I'm meant to do right now and whatever comes from it, it really doesn't matter. Uh, I've just gotten really, really good at listening to that. I call it my like internal guidance system, emotional guidance system. I'm not gonna get too woo-woo-y with you yet. That'll come later in the channel. Stay tuned if you're into that kind of thing. Um, but I've gotten really good at listening to this emotional guidance system and I'm really proud of that ability. It's not something that happens easily, especially when listening to that involves kind of going against the grain of what society and parents and friends and all the other things tell us that we're supposed to want. But right now I just know that I'm supposed to go see as much of the world as I can. And so that's gonna start in a place I've dreamed of seeing since I was a teenager. And that's insane. It's, so I have almost exactly a month. I have a month and a day to 
pack up my apartment, see friends and family, get my affairs in order, pack a bag, which I will have a video of how I decide to pack for Amsterdam in a few weeks, and set sail. Maybe get a guidebook, maybe not. Try and plot my route through the rest of Europe. Then we'll go from there. The amount of support I've gotten from y'all so far has been amazing. I know, like, 52 subscribers is nothing, but it's 52 people who cared enough to hit that button to follow along with whatever I have to share. Whether that's more cooking, that's stuff like this, uh, it's gonna be a lot of travel. I cannot wait to share everything that I see while I'm gone. And I can't wait to share what I learn more than anything else. I'm really, really excited. Man, how do I even put this? Amsterdam to me, ne the Netherlands to me, like. It's consistently ranked the happiest place on earth, right? And as somebody who spends a lot of time thinking about like, what is a life of well-being? How do you establish a consistent sense of joy and happiness in the world? There's something really remarkable to me about a place that so consistently produces such overwhelmingly happy people. Maybe I'll see if there's something to that. And I know for sure I'm gonna learn a lot about what it means to be Jordan. So if you've watched this far, thank you so much. I can't wait to share more about planning my trip, the videos of what I actually end up seeing. And yeah, I, <laughs> that's, that's about all I have right now. I just want to take the opportunity to share that with y'all. I made my decision, I know what I'm doing. And that's all I have to say about that for now. So if you want to keep following along with my journey, if you want to see what Amsterdam is like, if you want to see what, who knows what in the world is like, I'd love it if you came along for the ride and you hit that subscribe button so that you could follow along with everything else that I end up seeing. And I want to hear from you. What countries would you want to see? What do you want to know about Amsterdam? Are you a John Green fan? Do you stand obsessively for this man and the content that he produces in this world? Because I do. I want to talk about it. So with that said, I think that's all I've got. Be well out there. I'm sure we'll talk soon. Until next time, peace.